Armstrong Williams, CEO of Howard Stirk Holdings. Uh, we are broadcasters. We are on television stations across the United States in South Carolina, Alabama, uh, Alabama, Nevada, Michigan, um, and network stations, actually. And so we're in the content, the programming, and the broadcast business. And obviously, um, COVID-19 is, uh, is something that none of us as entrepreneurs, as private citizens, as family members have ever seen before. And no one knew what they were preparing themselves for. Uh, and I cannot recall a time as a student of history where I've ever read in any time where the world has faced the same invisible enemy at the same time. We know about the bubonic plague during Europe. We know about the Spanish flu, but it, it was always isolated to certain demographics. But for this very first time that we're facing an enemy that is so unknown, so devastating, the deaths, the sickness, the despair, the fear, the anxiety, the fact that loved ones can pass away and you cannot be at their bedside to hold their hand or to comfort them where people are making decisions because of the, the kind of stories that are coming out of hospitals today. They're choosing to become Florence Nightingale. They're choosing to become medics so they can have their loved ones by their side. They care for them. They console them. Their preference is that they die in their home by their bedside than die in some dark place in a hospital without a loved one, watch them draw their last breath. It's just really an amazing time that we find ourselves in where people are isolated and, and social distancing. Who would ever think that you could only reach out and touch your loved one by some mobile device, but it's the world that we live in today. My first priority is to the hundreds of employees that we have um, and no way are they going to feel insecure and fear that they're going to lose their way of life? They're going to lose their job. Even for me, someone who's been blessed, and I thank God for that, I would be willing to go into my own pockets to make sure that until we get some kind of handle, whether it's two or three months down the road, my employees and my executives will have a job, the ability to take care of their family. It's enough to have to embrace this virus and the uncertainty of it. And so everyone in some kind of way have been touched by this virus. But you know what we're finding, we're creating more content and more programming than we have ever before. We're out on the cutting edge. We're, we're talking about the different kinds of aspects of this virus, whether it's the economy, whether it's the family, whether it's the infrastructure, whether it's travel. You know, so many of us have been accustomed to traveling and moving. We've taken so much for granted. And as if we're living in an age where there was transportation didn't necessarily exist. So it really helps us determine who we are, what we're made of. It helps us define our character and it helps us define our faith. And it also forces us to go back and ask what is really important in life. And what we found is important in life is that we take care of our neighbors. We take care of those that have been in our employee. You make sure they don't lose their benefits because even if it costs you every penny that you've earned over the last several decades, what's most important is that in the end, what we realize is that mankind needs mankind. I'm Armstrong Williams.